Oh guys, Dan's had a big accident in the water. The EMT are here to collect him. Dan is in so much pain. He's actually crying or like whimpering. It's his hip, his leg. I, I don't know, I missed it. And I'm just following the EMT down to get more of our stuff and get the dogs back in the van. Maybe a little sedative to help relax. You okay with that? Okay. Oh. No pain anywhere else but the left side? Nothing going on with your neck or your back? No. <sighs> Nothing. Yes or no? Thank no. You. Thank you. Sorry. No, you're fine. just got here yeah. I just need to ask him I don't know where his wallet is okay if you can just give us just a few minutes let us get him situated in the room and then I'll bring you right back okay? no problem thank you yeah, so no much problem. Positive thoughts, I think. Yeah. I'm in the most intense pain I've ever felt. It's it's indescribable, and 
My left hip is very badly injured. I don't know exactly what the injury is yet, so we'll find out soon. I'm just praying to God that it's not a significant break or something like that. Is there anything I can do to make you more comfortable? Just make sure you guys smash that like button. (laughs) And if you're not subscribed to the channel, it would mean a lot to me right now if you're subscribed. Ali's telling me to stay in good spirits, so having you guys here, I can already tell the Van Fam support is going to be through the roof. So. It's uh, surprising. Your hair looks actually pretty good right now there, surfer boy. That helps. That certainly helps. Oh, I don't even know where to begin, but there's this uh, big boat, not big, maybe like 15, 10, 15 foot boat in the water that Dan ran into. And I wasn't there. I was walking up towards the car when he came in. Um, I noticed everybody was dropping their kites and running out to the water to help somebody who was injured. And I didn't know that it was Dan. There were, carry- there were five people who carried him in. And we was sitting on the beach shaking for uh, I- I- 20, 30 minutes, 20 or 30 minutes and in excruciating pain, um, like almost like not whimpering, but like making very uncomfortable sounds. Anyway, the paramedics got there and I showed you guys how they took him up to the ambulance and he is now in the hospital. He seems quite nervous that it is something very serious, but I have very high hopes that it is something not as serious because it doesn't seem like it's his back or his neck, or his head. Yeah, you know where the ball and joint come together? As I can as visualize that. it. Yeah, so where the femur, just like in the shoulder, you have the ball and joint come together, like people get this location. You kind of, it's like you smash the area that where it articulates. And uh, I'm going to, I'm going to put a final radiologist report, but it looks nasty enough that I think you need to, I'm going to, I'm going to talk to the specialist, but I think I'm going to need to send you to where they have bone and joint specialists and you know, trauma center. You want to make sure you're not bleeding. Internally. It's basically worst case. It's okay. It's fine. We're going to work through it. there's any wetsuit companies that would like to sponsor us. Danny's gonna need a new one. Okay guys, so I'm basically going to a manual in Portland to, to the trauma center, so see you there. Take a deep breath. Oh, careful, this is... Keep breathing. Breathing into the mouth. with him um it's like an hour hour-ish drive but i'm gonna go have a quick shower pack up get some things i have a feeling we're gonna be there for a few days he's fine he's fine he doesn't need me right now he's just being transferred it looks very painful though um and i need to get something to eat he says he's starving he hasn't eaten since probably noon and I'm gonna go leave the dogs with Kelly so she can look after them while we are unfortunately I don't don't know I don't know something tells me surgery and a couple of days in the hospital and a wheelchair but what do I know hi guys hi okay make room come on
the van got a little crazy in the whole episode. So I'm just sorting it out and I want to take this rack off. I decided I'm not in a rush. I'm just going to take my time and get organized because we might be there for a few days. I've never once done this and it looks complicated. Dan always does this. doesn't cook it looks pretty good um, I'm gonna sit down and have a have a dinner for the doggies. I'll take that. All right, girl. Good luck. Godspeed. You Thank know, all you. that stuff. Yeah. Whatever you need. Okay. All I'll right, send you a message when I get there, wishes. too. What? I'll send you a message when I get there, too. Yeah, please let me get there safe and that, like, you know, that yeah. all the above. Um, okay. Have fun I'll this weekend. I'll send you photos of the doggies. Thank you. Thank you for looking after them, oh honestly. Easiest thing ever. Um, I'm gonna pack up some food. I just got word that Dan is allowed to eat for the next 45 minutes and Kelly cooked him a steak. So I'm gonna bring him some steak and some bubbly water and whatever else I can find and um, a phone charger. And hopefully they let me in to see him. So I will let you know what I know. I can't wait to hear some news. Oh my gosh, this hospital's fancy. There's like a children's emergency room, an adult emergency room, but Dan did say, they moved him to a room room instead of an emergency room. So I sincerely hope that he, that they let me see him. I mean, hi babe. Hey. How's it going? Oh, I just had the craziest, like, they moved me from one bed downstairs. From the bed, they moved me to this one. And it was like the most intense pain. It, I just busted out crying for like 10 minutes straight. Oh just my like God. everything hit me, the whole situation hit me. So, but I cleared up, so that was just like, I don't know, I had been being held in all day, I think. So it felt good to get that out. Now I'm just kind of lying here. The leg is just not in good shape. <laughs> okay, so you spoke to the surgeon. Yeah, I spoke to like the surgeons, like one of the surgeons or maybe his assistant, he was a younger guy. And basically, it's like they're going to try and get me in this weekend. It looks like it'll be tomorrow morning and it's going to be it's a lengthy surgery. It's a very complicated surgery in terms of like all the screws and stuff that's going in. And yeah, I mean I basically shattered the left side of my pelvis, which is just absolutely insane. I just can't the pain is so hard it's so it's just it, I mean it brought me to tears and just yeah but I'm back now it's okay it's okay 
I just we just gotta we just gotta get through tomorrow. Everybody's supporting us. I can feel the love. Let it out though. I let it out and it felt so good. It felt so good. Shout out to Kelly who cooked steak. And if you know anything about Kelly, <laughs> She's she doesn't want to be anywhere near steak. When she cooks steak, that's the support. That's the type of friends we've got. <laughs> do you even need a fork? Hell no. You want me to crack? No it? fork needed. Get some pop. Do you, I brought eggs. Hard boiled eggs. Too. Uh, eggs? <laughs> Hard boiled eggs here. Guys, it feels so good to have Allie here. And it feels good to actually just be talking with you guys as well because I've been alone for the last like couple hours and there's been lots of people around. Everybody here is great. We're we're transported to Portland. I'm sure Allie told you, and I'm already feeling better because of the snacks and the st the steak. Oh, the steak! Hopefully, fingers crossed that we get put on the surgery list tomorrow morning. Sounds like that's what's gonna happen. And so basically, I'm going to get a bunch of bolts and pins and all sorts of junk because where it really hurts, basically the ball joint of my femur broke all the bones around kind of what holds your femur to your hip. That's basically where we're at. I love you so much. I love you. Yeah, it could have been worse. I mean, uh, it's the most it's gruesome injury I've ever had. But very close to your spine. So yeah, you were it was a freak accident. He said I'll make a hundred percent recovery. He did. Mhm. Mm but I might just need to monitor like arthritis as I grow older in that hip. So that's a bummer. But. Okay guys, to give you a full picture of what happened, it was our first day on the water of the year in the gorge, and it was blowing really good, and we had friends out on the water, everything was going normally, and we've been to this spot a lot of times, and about a year ago, a boat was washed ashore, kind of. It's really shallow water there, so you have to walk really far out before it gets even to like chest deep, and so I was in about, I don't know, a foot of water, two feet of water, which lots of people do they give lessons there it's a great place to learn so there's a capsized boat and I was going at it because it's like kind of right in the middle of the place everyone kites and I was gonna start turning away from it and as I turn my fins or something caught and I slammed into the hull which was upside down so I slammed into the metal part and then I just like immediately, my kite flung me kind of like a pendulum around and I just like splashed into the water. Luckily there was a decent amount of water, you know, a couple feet where it didn't like make things worse. But immediately I knew something was not right. I had so much adrenaline though that I didn't really feel a ton of pain. I was like, I know something's wrong. I can't pinpoint what it is. It's definitely my hip because my hip, I knew that was what hit it. And I tried to like, I had my, I pulled my safety release on my kite. I tried to like move around immediately. I knew that that wasn't happening. Couldn't crawl. So I just flipped over on my back, was kind of floating in the water. And then as the adrenaline came down, the, f the, the like movement of the water really started to hurt. And that was when like four or five people, a lot of our friends are there. Um, a few shout out to the people that we just met that EMT ski patrol. Thank you guys. They brought me to shore, a group of like five, six people, something like that, called an ambulance, and then kind of we, we got the show rolling from there on, but this boat needs to go. <laughs> you had been in the water for like not even 20 minutes. 
Yeah, it happened within the first under 30 minutes for sure. Um, and as they were bringing him in, not only could I see that he obviously couldn't walk, that he was in a ton of pain, but his entire body was shaking, just yeah. shaking so hard. I've never felt anything like that before. Just I've never seen somebody in so much pain. It was insane. Can I have a kiss? Seriously. Love you. Allie was gone for like two hours while she was getting all our essentials. Hopefully we're not here for more than a couple days, but Allie's getting our essentials and it's tough not having anyone around when you're in a situation like this. Guys, look. Oh, careful. I'm trying to pinch my catheter either. So much Allie just snuggled up in bed with me as we're watching a show. It's about 1 a.m. We're still trying to hopefully find out about surgery time, but it sounds like they're aiming for tomorrow morning, so it's nice to have Allie snuggle with me. This is a nice spacious bed, you know, it's a heck of a lot better than being down in the ER. I would never, I typically never like the ER. I, I prefer to be up here in the nicer suites. <laughs> well, it's the next morning. I just got word from one of the, I guess, resident surgeons that's kind of in training. And this pelvis surgery is gonna require two experienced surgeons, which they don't have. They only have one on call right now. So uh, it's Saturday morning and I won't be uh, having my operation until early next week is all I know right now. And that just really sucks. Uh, There's a real big number on myself. Uh, the pain is, is very, it's always on and I can't describe it. It's just, there's no relief. They're doing a great job. They've got medicine and warm blankets and stuff, but it's just no really, nothing that can really take the edge off completely. So that's the hardest part I think right now. Uh, luckily, Allie's here. Hopefully, she's getting some sleep right now. I got an hour here, an hour there. Yeah. Allie's got a decent night's sleep, right, babe? As best you could. Best I could. I think probably a little bit better than me. And I've got a bunch of sand on me, so that's really one of the main things right now is there's, from the wetsuit, there's sand everywhere. Everywhere. So He's laying, his back is just like basically in a bed of like s sand stuck to him. Oh yeah. How's that look over there? Okay, okay. Don't just stay there for now. No need to go further. Oh my gosh, there's so much sand. I mean, that's obviously what happens with sand, but it's like... How is there so much? He's just laying in it. I've got my number one nurse here with me, guys. Feeling in better spirits. Feeling good. Just uh, wanting the next two days to fly by, really. A few moments later. Okay, well, the doctor just came in, the physician's assistant. It was a kind of a reality check moment. Big breaths. <laughs> to get through it. On the beach, when they finally got him, um, cut his wetsuit open, there was immediate bruising along the, I guess, the back outer thigh. You can't see it because it's exactly where your leg is laying. Oh, here it is. Here it starts. Yeah, that's where the pain is. Right here kind of looks like that um, maybe till about mid thigh so eight to ten inches of that um. fractures there there and then down below so my femur looks good 
the hit the pelvis has fractures in so many different spots that the reason why it hurts just to be here is because my leg is actually kind of pulling is kind of like the gravity is kind of adding to the the fractures I guess you could say in a sense where it's your, le your leg almost the weight is like dead weight almost yeah I can't like move my right my left leg so I think we'll leave you guys here um, we'll have another episode obviously to keep you guys updated but things to do bowel movement get Allie some company in the van with brother Huck probably leave sister Piggy with our friend Kelly and um, just wait for any updates and looks like surgery Monday is probably I think likely so that's good and after that it's just kind of a big question mark of I mean I don't know how I can't even imagine how I'm going to feel she wasn't able to obviously say how long that he's going to be in here after surgery and well uh, the rehab is going to be a rehab. long time yeah that's safely two months six to eight weeks but i think i'll probably be able to get out of here within a day or two of surgery i think a lot of people are aware of what's happened and that boat. <laughs> that boat needs to be moved. That boat is a serious hazard. I mean, someone could kill themselves. I'm so glad you didn't. I mean, it could hit my head. I mean, it's what if I was down there by myself? You know, it's like holy crap. I don't even want to think about that. Honestly, just, yeah, that that boat needs to go. Okay, guys, we're gonna make it through it. I've got Allie here, so you know you guys know that I'm good. You you know that I'm well taken care of. We love you guys. We can feel your support, right, babe? We can. Thank you. We'll see you guys in the next episode. More updates to come. Bye.